I hope all of you thought about the question which was asked to you, which is what is a data type, right? Now, I know everybody has heard this word called as data types and you would have heard different words like, for example, int is a data type. For example, float is a data type. For example, char is a data type. For example, double is a data type. For example, boolean is a data type. Yes, all these are examples of a data type, but it does not answer the fundamental question of what is a data type. These are all examples of a data type. Now, if you want to understand what is a data type, first and foremost, you must understand something about the computer. Long back, I've told you, in our computer, we have three main hardware components. One being our hard disk, second one being our RAM, and last but not the least, the most important component, which is our processor. This we have already discussed, correct? Now, try to understand, processor doesn't have any storage capabilities. That is why there are two storage devices. Now, out of these two storage devices, you know hard disk is connected to the RAM, RAM is connected to the processor, which means the memory for the processor is the RAM, which means anything which the processor is executing, it is storing it inside the RAM, which means any software which is executing in your computer, if it is getting executed, all its data or information is stored inside the RAM. How will you understand? So now you have to understand something very important about this RAM. Now, I'm sure everybody has heard words like 2 GB RAM. You have all heard this word. I'm sure you've heard words like 4 GB RAM. Yes? Now, my first question to you is, what do you mean by GB? Immediately, loudly, all of you will say gigabytes. Correct. Full form, everybody knows. Congratulations. Clap for yourself. Don't really clap. Hmm? Full form is meaningless. What is the meaning? Try to understand. Now, G, as all of you correctly told, stands for giga. B stands for bytes. I agree. But what does 2 GB mean then? Uh, please try to understand. Giga is a mathematical representation of 10 raised to the power 9 or 1 followed by 9 zeros. Bytes, it's bytes, bytes only. Which means, try to understand, when you say 10 raised to the power 9, what you are saying is 1 followed by 9 zero bytes. And if you count 1s, 10s, 100, 1000 like this, 1 followed by 9 zeros is 100 crores. 100 crore bytes. 100 crore bytes is the meaning of GB. Now add one 2 to it. What does it mean? What it means is 2 into... 10 raised to the power 9 bytes. That is the meaning. 2 into 10 raised to the power 9 means 2 followed by 10 which is raised to the power 9. That is the meaning of 2 into 10 raised to the power 9. Am I clear till here? Which means multiply 2 into 10 raised to the power 9. What will you get? You will get 2 followed by 9 zeros. You will get 2 followed by 9 zeros. So many bytes are there. I hope you are able to understand. Which means 2 GB RAM means what? You have 200 crore bytes, it seems. That is the meaning. You have 200 crore bytes. Am I clear? And this, if you have to visualize it, try to understand. Now I told you this is a RAM. What is a RAM? A RAM is actually can be represented like this. This is a RAM, imagine. When you say 2 GB RAM, you are saying inside this RAM, there are 200 crore bytes. Which means what you call as a RAM is a collection of bytes. That is what you must understand. RAM is a collection of bytes. I hope you will understand. Clear? Which means, try to understand, here, this is like this, there are 200 crore bytes. It says. Like this, how many bytes are there? 200 crore bytes, 2 GB RAM. Which means, what does 4 GB RAM means? 400 crore bytes. I hope you will understand. What does 16 GB RAM mean? Or let us assume, what does your, uh, yeah, 16 GB RAM. 16 GB RAM means how much? 1600 crore bytes are there. Which means the only point which I want to enter into everyone's mind is, when you say 2 GB, 4 GB, 16 GB, 8 GB, you are talking about the crores and crores of bytes which is present inside a RAM. A RAM is a collection of bytes. Point number one. Now, some of you will be like, okay, I agree. RAM is a collection of bytes. Now, what is a byte, sir? What is a byte? 
If I take one byte out and look inside it, you will be shocked to see that a byte is made out of eight small, 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 small partitions. Sir, what is each of these small partition called as, sir? This one small partition is called as a bit. What is it called as? Bit. And one byte is made out of eight such bits. Hope you understand. So, RAM is a collection of bytes. Bytes is a collection of bits. I hope you will understand. Which means, what you call as a RAM is a collection of bits. Now, 2 GB RAM means how many bits, sir? You only do the calculation. Very, very simple calculation it is. What you can now do is, 2 GB RAM means 200 crore bytes. Every byte is 8 bits. Which means how to calculate how many bits? 8 into 2 into 10 raised to the power 9 bytes are there. Are you able to understand? Which means 8 into 2 is how much? 16. Which means 1600 crore bits it seems. Imagine. Which means RAM is a collection of bytes. Bytes is a collection of bits. Which means entire RAM is nothing but a collection of bits. Am I clear till here? Great. Now, try to understand. Now that you understood RAM is a collection of bits, I can show a RAM like this. It's nothing but a collection of bits. Now, if you ask me, sir, inside a bit, what is there, sir? If you go inside a bit and see, you will be shocked to see two things. What two things we will see, sir? You will see two transistors. One NPN transistor, one PNP transistor. Two transistors put together is what sets up a bit. A bit is made out of two transistors. I hope you are able to understand. Which means try to understand, RAM is a collection of bytes, bytes is a collection of bits, bits is a collection of transistors, which means what you call as a RAM is ultimately nothing but transistors. And anything which is made out of transistors, I have long back told you, is called as a semiconductor technology device. And those of you who have been regularly attending the class and revising knows one more piece of information that what you call as a transistor is a device which is capable of storing one and only one thing. And what is that one thing? Either high voltage or it can store low voltage. High voltage means 5 volts, low voltage means 0 volts. How do you understand? And in computer science, high voltage is only called as 1, low voltage is only called as 0. Which means, please understand, what you call as your RAM, which is bytes, bits, transistors, ultimately inside it is capable of storing only one thing, which is nothing but zeros and ones. And hence the most important point which I wanted to convey. RAM is a collection of bytes, bytes is a collection of bits, bits is a collection of transistors, is why what you can store inside a RAM is only zeros and ones. Is this point clear to all of you? Let's move ahead. Now, please try to understand. Yes, RAM can store only zeros and ones. But now, let's come to the real world. Okay? Imagine, in this real world that we are living in, okay? I come to Bangalore. In Bangalore, I come to one place called as BTM, which is where TAP Academy's office is, right? In BTM, outside in the road, let us assume, I will find one very interesting person like this, okay? Now, I'll call this person and say, hey, please come inside and I'll ask him some questions. So, I'll invite him inside office and I'll ask him some questions. First question I will ask is, okay, tell me what is your age? Now, he may say 23. Now, what is this 23? This 23 is data. Yes or no? Real world data. Such a data exists in the world. But if I have to assign it a type, what is the type of 23? I would say it is an integer type data, whole numbers. Yes? Age is an integer. Number of students sitting in this classroom is an integer. Number of colleges in a country is an integer. Population of a country is an integer. Yes, integers. Then I'll ask him, hey man, tell me, what is your height? He'll say 5'11", 5.11", 5, 5, 5 feet 11 inches. What is this? This is a real number type data. Your CGPA is also a real number, 7.2, 8.6, 6.5. Your weight is also a real number, 52.6, 65.8, 72.9. Yes or no? Then I will ask him, okay, what is your name? He'll say Rajkumar. Now, what is Rajkumar? Character type data. Next, I will ask him, are you placed in any company? He will say, yes, I am placed. Yes or no? What is this? Boolean type data. Correct? Next, I will be like, hey, what are you listening? He will be like, I am listening to one song. What is song? Audio type data. 
correct or not next i'll ask him okay what are you doing on your phone he'll say i'm watching a movie now that movie is what video type data if you take your phone out and click one selfie what is that still picture i hope you understand now please try to understand you take any data in this world i can guarantee you friend it will fall in one of these seven categories i guarantee you that it will fall in one of these seven categories either it will be integer or it will be a real number or it will be a character it will be yes or no audio video still picture 99.9% of the world's data will fall in these categories maybe dna is also data that may not fall in this category maybe iris is also data that may not fall in this category maybe fingerprint is also data that may not fall in this category that is why i said 99.9% even detol says 99.9% only it clears germs yes or no so i hope everybody understood correct now why am i saying this why i am saying this is now imagine this is a computer inside this computer one software is executing which is going to take the age the height the name the placement status maybe the recording of the person maybe a video of the person and maybe a picture of the person you know there are so many softwares which you have used for example tap academy's drive portal there itself when you go and make a profile you should give all this data yes or no now this data which you are giving to a software which is executing in your computer where will the software store it please understand if anything is under execution long back i told you it stores it inside the ram ab you will understand which means you must take all this data and you must be putting this data inside the ram i hope you are able to understand this is what you should do correct or not ah, okay now if that is true please try to understand i am just keeping the ram here just now i told you integer example 23 real number 5.11 character rajkumar yes song movie still picture all this is data now please think and answer ram is a collection of bytes bytes is a collection of bits bits is a collection of transistors which means what can ram store zeros and ones that we already established ram can store only zeros and ones on the other end i have the data of the world real world data now this data please look at this and tell me is anything in zeros and ones tell me is age of a human being in zeros and ones is the height of a human being in zeros and ones tell me is somebody's name in zeros and ones how many of your parents named you 3110110110 whose name is in uh, binary nobody's name nobody's age nobody's height nobody's weight nobody's cgpa is in zeros and ones which means data in the world is not in zeros and ones but if this data should be stored inside the ram it should be in zeros and ones did you see the mismatch ah uh, that is why directly i cannot store then what to do sir that is why friend i need a converter what is the job of this converter take data which is in real world form convert it into binary form so that it can be stored inside the ram now the question is who will do this conversion for us in java that conversion is only done by a facility my friend called as data types have you understood so what is a data type a data type is simply put a converter which takes real world data which is not in binary and converts it into binary so that it can be stored inside the ram this was the answer i was expecting from you but not even a single person told me so what is a data type a data type is a converter what does it convert real world data into zeros and ones why should you convert because in our computer when a software is executing it is present inside the ram ram is made out of bytes bits and transistors and essentially can store only zeros and ones that is why conversion is required understood every programming language has data types now let's come to java let us assume in java friend you want to store integer for that you need a data type one option byte one more option short one more option you have int and last but not the least you have long four options you have to convert integers into zeros and ones why do i need four options sir i will explain next to store real numbers one option float one more option double to store characters ah uh, some of you are saying string the data type is char 
strings in java is not a data type strings in java are objects we will be learning it together very soon don't worry data type is char series of characters is string anyways yes or no type data boolean sir for audio for audio we don't have data types we use something called as built in libraries now a library is a high five way of saying that you will be using some other programmer's code people have written code for many purposes for many years everything you don't have to build from scratch somebody has already written code for that you have to just use it using somebody else's code is the concept of libraries understood what is it we will explore later similarly even for video we have built in libraries similarly even for pictures we have built in libraries understood so when you go to tap academy's uh, portal and when you are creating a profile if they ask you to upload your photo we will be using a library to handle your image yes if you were to upload a video of yourself we will be using a library to handle video if i ask you to give an audio recording yes in the ai mock interview you are giving a audio recording of your answer that audio is handled using libraries i hope this much clarity each and every one of you have got now in java primarily 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 how many data types eight data types are there this is what we are going to learn and first thing we are going to start with is integer type data